Ah, good evening. I've just got back from Huddersfield and I uh, popped into uh, uh, Kirtley's Guns and I uh, picked up this uh, uh, Mauser, uh, Diana Mauser uh, K98. Um, it's a replica of the actual World War II German infantry rifle. Um, there are obviously a few differences because this is an underlever Springer. So obviously um, it's got a 11mm dovetail with uh, arrestor stops. Obviously the original rifle didn't have that, and also there's no obviously no bolt, you know, cocking bolt. But apart from that, it's a pretty good authentic uh, rifle. The uh, finish is fantastic, the actual foot plate is obviously metal, obviously there's no um, grips on it, so obviously it can be a bit slippy, but I have fired a few shots through, five shots to try it out, and it works very well. Uh, the trigger, the trigger guard is polymer, but the actual trigger is metal. It's a two-stage adjustable trigger, and um, the first stage is very, very light, and it's very predictable. It's got an automatic safety, so when you cock it and uh, where you'd have your cleaning rod on the, on the real rifle, that is under lever, so it breaks down just like the um, HW97KT. And obviously the gate opens here, and you put your pellet straight into the barrel. Okay, and then the automatic safety comes on, so you have a white dot and a red dot, and then you can push the safety forward to switch the safety off. Okay. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, the finish is really nice. This is a real wood stock. It's quite heavy. It's, uh, I believe, it's about eight and a half, nine pounds. Um, this is the point two, two calibre. They do it one seven seven. Um, it's got a, a iron sight, so it's fully adjustable for windage and elevation at the back. Uh, it's very, very nice as well. Uh, very precise. Nice clicks, adjustments. Okay, and also you can adjust the the foresight with the tool. It comes with a toolkit, and you can adjust it in millimeter increments up and down. So you can adjust your foresight up and down. Uh, another good thing about it is also you can fit an authentic sling on it as well, uh, which fits through here, and then uh, it goes onto this mounting point here for your sling. So you can actually fit a replica sling, which you can buy for about um, 14 pounds of eBay. If I look at that, so I should probably fit one. Um, I can just about see the iron sights, so I probably will fit a scope, but only a small one, probably only a 4 times 32 something not too big, because this is a nice looking rifle, and you don't want to ruin the looks by putting a great big scope on it. Um, I believe this is going to be pretty accurate, up to 35, maybe 50 yards. Um, obviously it's going to need some breaking in, it's brand new, it was uh, fully boxed up in its packaging, and still greased up, so I'm going to give the barrel a bit of a pull through. You've had a clean and a bit of a lube with some molly, molly pull on the linkages and stuff like that. Um, like I said, very nice looking rifle, lovely wooden finish. Um, like I said, it's heavy, um, but the balance is very good. I'll just pick it up with one handed. There we go. And I'm holding it outstretched, and that's the balance. So it's a, it's a nicely balanced rifle. So even putting a, a lightweight scope. On the back it wouldn't affect the balance too much and so that's yeah that, that is weighs about the same as my 90, 97 so uh, I shall hope to get out and uh, do a, a shooting review on it after I've uh, broken it in uh, probably put about 500 pellets through most uh, underlevers take a, a bit of lead in as well the rifle barrels do so uh, yeah hope you enjoy this little video just a just a, an unboxing really in a and a bit of an insight into uh, this rifle. Thanks for watching. Ah, good afternoon. So I'm out the outside with my uh, Diana Mauser K98.22 uh, air rifle, and uh, I've got a 2x20 pistol scope on, and I've been playing around with the zero, and I think I've got a sort of pretty much bang on now. So this is the target I used to do a bit of zeroing. So the first few shots were here brought them over to here then I played around to here here and then the final group I fired up there so I thought right put a fresh target out I'm using the uh, GXP Express 14.35 grain they've got a, a 5.52 millimeter head and this rifle really seems to suit it okay so I'm gonna go down and look at the uh, the six shots I took and they're down at 25 meters by those blue butts so let's go and see how we did so it's a beautiful uh, sunny afternoon, um, only a slight breeze occasionally, so it's a, it's a much calmer day. 
Um, this is my range, my steel plate along the back and uh, concrete lintels to use as the target area. So this is the target I've just shot at. Um, and I was using like the artillery hold off the bag. Um, the rifle doesn't uh, shoot well off the bag. Uh, it's full of rice, and normally they do, but I think it's because it's uh, such a light scope on, it's actually kicking quite a bit. So uh, I've just put, rested it on my palm, put my palm underneath it, and the group is pretty good. So I've uh, there's six shots, five in a group there. That's a, a nice tidy group that is, and one below. I may have pulled that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, shooting fantastic really. Um, uh, use the spinners, um, hit them uh, yeah, five times, twice in a row, no problem. Uh, shot some freestanding shots at this can, no problem there. So uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the performance of this rifle. And uh, even though it's uh, it's only a two by 20, it's such a, a tiny target to aim at, at uh, only two times 20 at 25 meters. But uh, it's obviously, um, the trigger's fantastic. It's the, uh, the T06 trigger. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lovely trigger. Once it's broken in to the first, you know, I've got 500 pokes through and the rifle fires much more smoothly. But uh, yeah, it's a real great rifle. It's obviously very accurate. Um, you could certainly use it for hunting if you put a, a larger scope on. But uh, I probably won't, I'll probably use my compatto if I go ratty, but uh, yeah, this is a, it's a, it's a, nice, a really nice rifle, well built, and uh, yeah, it was about, I think I paid £310 from uh, Kirtley's Guns in Huddersfield last year for it. So yeah, pistol scope works really well, uh, it took a bit of a while just to tweak it in, but uh, I think I think that's more or less bang on. I said I was hitting the spinners down there at 25 metres, no problem. Uh, and freestanding as well, and if, if it was out, I'd, I'd, I'd have missed them. So, uh, yeah, great rifle. Uh, hope you enjoy watching this.